<laughs> Ebuka actually wore his table shaking attire into the live eviction show today because his presence in the live eviction show, the housemate seeing Ebuka today caused chaos and is going to cause more drama or is going to cause more problem than peace during the week or as the day goes by in the big brother niger house hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Vicky. thank you for, for stopping by in this channel we just 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 entertain ourselves and you know you know catch up on things that are happening in the entertainment industry and also in reality tv shows like this big brother niger anyway guys today was the live eviction show in the big brother niger no lose guard season nine you get and ebuka came with a lot of table shaking questions you know all the backbiting all the talking all the you know small talks here and there that you've not been able to say to people's face ebuka will force you to either accept it or be a coward and deny it because he started with the Nne pair of the head of the last head of house you understand he started with her and she asked the he he started with the Nne pair and she asked Nne what she was talking about Chinwen. you know Ebuka said she actually said that she do, she doesn't even want to know what the problem is between Nne and Zion because she knows that Nne, she, Ebuka said that she said that she doesn't even want to know what the problem is between Chinwen and Zion because she knows that Chinwen will definitely be at fault or Chinwen is the problem. You guys recall that during the week, the Zinwen ship was actually shaking and it almost collapsed or capsized into the ocean. But as God may have it, they actually sort their differences out. But tonight's eviction show, I don't know if that ship it will be sailing strong or there will be a little, you know, turbulence in the ship. I'm not saying it's going to sink. But of course, Ebuka has asked certain questions. So even the Chinwe girl that will actually cause issues. And then in the answer to that question, she was like, it's based on what has been happening or what she felt has happened, you go. And she just felt like she felt that like Chinwe will be the problem or Chinwe will definitely be at fault. I know when Ebuka asks questions like that, everybody's looking at yourself like, what do you want to say? Did you say this behind me? And all that and all that. And then Ebuka moved from the uh, the Nne lady and he went to Chinwe, of course, she, he, and he went to Chinwe, of course, he was asking Chinwe that during the course of your fight or your issues with uh, Zion, you had a lot to say behind him. You went as far as saying that everything that has to do with Zion coming to show was all on you, like you sponsored Zion's show, to uh, Zion's trip to the show, everything was on you, which Chinwe actually said with her friend. She discussed it with her friend, DJ Flo. And she was trying to want to deny or saying this is not the perspective that I mean. Ebuka said, let me just leave you guys to watch it. Anyway, she tried to defend herself there. But I just hope that after the life eviction, they will be able to talk things out. Because of course, after the life eviction, she was sitting with Victoria. She was sitting with the DJ Flo. And she was now like, Mubeo. Ebuka won't scatter my relationship because no guy, no woman will hear you, what you were talking to so a third party about them and they will like the kind of things she said because it, it caused a lot of buzz outside here where people were like did you even have to say it? No matter how angry you were. Of course, most ladies discuss things like this with their friends. But considering the fact that you were on a live TV show, you didn't have to discuss that or start saying the kind of things you actually said. Because people will take it out of context. People will, you know, judge and say things they are not supposed to say. Even people who would have even said worse will be there to judge you. Anyway, guys, moving on, it was Ebuka now shaking the table of Ruthie and Wani. Ebuka was asking Ruthie, so you said something about Wani being stingy or Wani being this, being that, you know, like a conversation you had with somebody trying to gossip Wani. Why did you find it difficult to not talk to Wani? Rather, you were speaking with um, somebody else about her. And Ruthie was like, I spoke to her about it. I've told her about this same issue. You understand? She gave instances where she was making noodles and Wani came and she told Wani that she's not going to give to Wani because she's stingy. So, and all that and all that. And she's waiting for a time where my Wani, she has already told her that if she tries her or if she comes there's or something, something, they were going to have issue. 
anyway this and many more actually happened in the live eviction stream and you guys it was time for the eviction guess what guys the custodians were had only one thing they picked from the boss which is evict only and the people who were on the bottom four in this particular one were the flourish the radicals the indignities and the zimwens you understand these four pairs were up for possible eviction they, they were the ones that got the least votes from the audience out here and then big brother called the custodians into the diary room although that wasn't transparent for us to see if truly they, the 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 indignities were the ones that the the custodians actually picked you understand but big, big brother came and ebuka announced the indignities as the people that were evicted we don't know whether that was transparent or big brother influenced their decision we don't know and i don't want to you know say for sure you understand but it, 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 we realized that they, these were the people that they actually evicted and even after the eviction uh, the eviction the custodians they were all feeling down like you know it's, it's it's such a huge burden to be the one to actually send your fellow housemates off because definitely that will create some sort of resentments in their hearts towards you and even you you will always feel guilty but the game is the game somebody has to go because if you don't pick somebody when it's their turn they will have to pick somebody and that somebody might be you or your pair you understand so that was basically what actually happened in the life eviction show you get when they, even when they came out on the stage for the you know uh, brief interview where Buka does you see that the Nne, of one of the pair as she has she has she cried and i'm not that i know that she will be heart broken but the game is the game somebody has to go then to the tea of tonight you guys after the eviction show of course i told you that ebuka came is an indaboski he came to create conflict and not peace you get there's already tension in the house about everybody ebuka acts of the gossip they had with each other you get and then the next thing we saw was um kyle they taking the camera to wandy hand and one day and one day ex handy and then um, ruti having like a confrontation where we according to the explanation um, Wandy and Handy said that they were just having a conversation and Handy was trying to, you know, tell Wandy, Wandy to, to calm down. And then Ruti was like, if they born you were, call my name. And this is what the twins had to do to Ruti. They literally started shouting her name. Ruti, Ruti, Ruti. <laughs> the chaos in the house. It's not going to be funny. And before I forget, Ebika also asked Victoria a question. Asking Victoria... Do, don't you think that your relationship with your partner is really weird? As in, are you people not feeling the vibe? And I feel like the the Chateauria pair, if I were them, they should be taking this hint from Ibuka and even Big Brother to know that they are already cursing. They are not united. Every other pair in that house, they are united, even though they might have other friends in the house then but i feel like the chateauria pair they are not even friends talk more of trying to be a pair in the house you understand rather sean has come and he's pairing up with the one ex handy group he has two wives in the house because in that relationship they are three not two you get i said so yeah duh. <laughs> anyway so and there's no time to actually have a conversation with victoria because even the victoria herself is always boring us like she's always very calm always alone always quiet not interacting not having so much discussion don't get me wrong i'm not saying that being quiet is is bad but i'm saying that in a show like this you have to be more expressive not rude you have to be more expressive you have to mingle a lot you have to talk to people a lot but as as you can see even if vicky is sleeping people will still be voting for her because maybe they enjoy her vibe and all that and all that even though they also had like a conversation after that and i hope they sort this out anyway that's the gist for tonight's eviction show thank you so very much for watching the channel if you enjoyed the gist or if you have any opinion or if you have what to say to counter or um, add to what i've said please leave it in the comment section like this video to just help the channel subscribe to my channel and please 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 turn on your bell to notification so that you will always be informed whenever i post a new video i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Bye, guys.